Hi, this is Dave with High Gravity. We're in the High Gravity Development Lab and we're introducing a new series of controllers called Warthog. The Warthog series is based on new technology that provides new features but still remains easy to use. There are two modes of operation, mash and boil. In mash mode, the controller maintains your set point automatically. When you switch to boil mode, you have full range of control of the power level from 0 to 100 percent and the control is linear. The Warthog EBC-130 is the first controller in this series. It's designed for a single vessel system, brew in a bag. It's great for a two vessel system like the brew Easy, and it has all of the essential functionality to run a three vessel brewing system. You can familiarize yourself with the controls without a pump or heating element plugged in. When the unit is plugged in, you're going to see a blinking heartbeat on the heat switch which indicates that the power is on. Reminds you to be careful. So let's dive in. To begin your brew day, you want to make sure that the controller is in mash mode. In mash mode, the measured value is displayed at the top and the temperature set point is displayed below. You can make a change by selecting a new value with the knob and then pushing it to save the change. The green output indicator indicates that the heat should be on. If there was a heating element plugged in, it would be hot. We can change to boil mode by pushing on the knob bringing up the menu. Since we have the timer disabled, the only choices that are displayed are mash or boil. We select boil mode, hit the button. When it's in boil mode, you'll see the P indicated here and the percentage of power with a number. You can d select your percentage of power from 0 to 100. The light's on solid at 100%, 50%, it's on about half the time. You do not need to push the button again to confirm the change. The change is instantaneous. If you have a problem with your temperature probe or a cable, and the temperature controller cannot see the probe, you'll see an error message displayed like this. You're not going to get any heat until you fix the problem. It could be a broken wire in the cable. We ship the controller with some of the advanced features disabled. This is so that the controller is most intuitive to use right out of the box. With timer functions disabled, the only menu choices displayed when you push the knob momentarily are boil and mash. If you have the timer enabled, you're going to see a timer reset menu as well. Timer functions are enabled or disabled with the TF parameter and they're located in the system menu. To go to the system menu, we need to be in mash or boil mode and then push the button for five seconds. Once it's been pushed for five seconds, we've got a go to mash, go to boil, or go to system. These are the parameters that will affect control of the system. Under system we have TF, it's currently set to off. That's timer function. We can turn the timer on and save our change. This is the timer counting direction currently set to down. You could change that to up. And we'll get through the rest of these. There. So with the timer enabled, You'll see the menu choice will display now when we're going in. This is it. It's the timer reset. Before it displays mash or boil, it's asking whether you want to reset the timer or not. You can hit the button again if you hit that by mistake. We'll go back and s turn, the, turn the knob. Brings up the other choices. Mash, boil, or reset the timer. The timer can be general purpose or it can be used to control mash and boil functions. With the timer enabled, you'll want to visit these timer parameters that are under the boil and the mash section. So we'll go to the mash section here and you'll see that the initial value is set to one hour. This is the mash time and when the timer is reset it'll start with another hour on the clock and count down. Timer S TSP is the timer start temperature. That means once the temperature reaches 
151, the timer is going to start. That's your MASH timer. ALH is the alarm set temp. It's set to 150, so when the temperature reaches 150, you get a little beep to tell you you reached your target MASH temp. The EO is the uh, ending option. It is set to off, so at the end of the timer, if it's enabled, the mash, the heat will turn off once one hour has counted down. With the timer enabled, there's also some parameters associated with the boil. Let's go to the boil parameters menu. And let's go a couple more times. That's it. That's your boil time. This it default is one hour. It will count down once the boil has started. And the boil temperature set point is 208. So once the temperature reaches 208, the boil timer will start and it will count down from one hour. We offer a wide variety of temperature probe styles. They're all the same RTD sensor type, but in different packages. The most common is the weldless type that installs through a hole in the vessel wall. The gaskets go on the outside of the vessel with just the nut on the inside. Other styles include NPT and tri-clamp, and they also come in various lengths. They all have the same connector on the end, which is the spring lock connector, and it's the same connector that's on the end of the controller end of the cable. So there you have it. It's the Warthog EBC-130. Thanks for joining us. Happy brewing.